Okay, so today we're going to work on quite a simple but effective looking technique where we are going to overlay a texture over the top of a portrait. So I've got my two images here, I've got my portrait with a quite plain background which is going to be quite important and I have my texture which is kind of scrumpled paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy our textured background and I'm going to place it over the top of the face which is going to, as you can see here, create a new layer. Okay. Uh, so now that I have um, this layer over the top, I want to make it a bit smaller so it just kind of covers the area of the face. So I'm going to free transform and I'm going to shrink it down. Okay. It doesn't need to cover all the hair, it should probably cover both the ears though. Okay. Pretty happy with where that is for the minute. Um, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to drop the opacity down so I can just get a bit of an idea where it's, where it's covering and where it isn't covering. Um, last thing, I'm going to go to Edit, Free, tran free Distort, sorry, and I'm just going to tug away at the corners a little bit so the parts towards the top of the head look like they are um, displaying a curve rather than just a flat image over the top. Um, so I'm going to pull these down a little bit. If I was working with something uh, like Photoshop, for example, um, it would give me more points that I can kind of distort. Pixar's limiting the amount that I can do here, which is a bit frustrating, but... There's not too much I can do about that. Okay, we'll go with, um, with that for the distortion for the minute. Okay, last thing I'm going to go to overlay as my screen type. And as you can see here, um, it's already creating this kind of effect over the top. And we can just see some bits around areas that we don't want them in. So I'm going to pull the opacity back up. I'm going to use the eraser tool, make it a bit bigger, to just tidy up the areas, for example, the fingers and around the face, um, because I only want this texture to appear on the face. And also I'm going to remove them from the hair. And last but by no means least, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to raise them from inside the eyes as well. I want this texture to be over the face, not over the person's eye. Oh, let's make it a bit smaller. And with that, hey presto, let's have a look at it, how it's shown. Okay, um, quite a simple technique, but very, very effective. And you can use a variety of different textured backgrounds to produce similar results.